Oh, hey guys. So I went to this amazing supermarket sweep event on Monday, which wasn't really a supermarket sweep event, but it was um, in honor of the new Sephora in Times Square opening. Um, they revamped the whole thing and it's now really organized by sections. There's a really cool nail bar um, or nail polish section where you can try on, you know, by sticking your fingers underneath like little plastic, um, little plastic shaped nails that are coated with the nail polish so you can really see what it looks like on your skin and like an epic fragrance section, all this other stuff. Anyway, so the best part of the event was that we were given a thousand dollar gift certificate to buy whatever we wanted from Sephora. So like for people like me and Dina Fierro from Eye for Style, this was like so stressful and amazing and we had to have like a strat to like overcome this amazing opportunity. So I, my strat was to, um, get backup of backups of like the BBJ greatest hits, like things that I just cannot have too much of, um, things that, you know, I just want like I, things that I've gotten as samples and then like have bought and bought and bought and bought in, you know, multiple, multiple containers of it. And then also like brands that just don't really deal with me so much to just like stock up on all the stuff I've been wanting to try, but not wanting to spend a million D seven dollars on. So this is what I got. I'll show you my haul. I got some Josie Moran Bare Naked Wipes. I got so many wipes because I get really nervous when wipes run out. So I like to have a multitude of wipes, and these are great. I got, what else did I get? Um, more in the wipes department. I got these amazing cleansing spa cleansing water wipes from Kogen Do. And this is actually per the suggestion of my friend Felicia Walker Benson from This That Beauty who has the most incredible skin. So I just do whatever she's doing. And I saw that her cart was like totally filled with these. So I was like, I'm doing what you're doing. And then I robbed the place of self tanner essentially. This is my favorite self tanner. It's Kate Somerville's self tanning wipes. They make for no streaks. They smell fine. They don't smell like anything. I got two of these and I secretly wish I got more. And then, um, as I said, I really like self tanner. I got my favorite non wipe self tanner, which is Clarins Delicious. It smells amazing. It is incredible. Um, so I got one of these. I got some Bliss Soap and Scrub. It's an energizing exfoliator. This is actually one of my favorites in the summer, but I just couldn't pass up an opportunity to get it. It's really, it feels like air conditioning on your skin. It's like really gritty, but also really mentholated, so it's tingly. Um, I think I probably will use it before the summer, but I just like having it. And I like the little, the little minty icon. Super cute, removed minty logo rather. Um, this is actually a gift for my best friend from home, Lee. This is Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. As everybody knows, it's a classic. Um, my friend Lee's mother has been using this product since, oh my god, I don't even know, I think like the 70s or something, or when, whenever the brand came out. I want to say maybe it was the 80s. Um, she doesn't use anything else. I always give her this whenever I possibly can. Um, Bumble and Bumble Super Rich Conditioner. Love, 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 love. I've gone through a million of these. It's the best conditioner ever. Um, can, I also got Bumble and Bumble's Invisible Oil, which I've been wanting to try. Um, I got a backup of Fresh Original Brown Sugar Body Polish. This is just the best body scrub on earth. It's great pre self tan. Um, it makes my limbs positively gleam. It is just so, so great. So I was glad to get another one of those. I got a, um, a glossy stain from, um, YSL who will not send me any of their lip gloss stains and I've been wanting to try it. Um, which color is this? This is, um, orange. Um, it's like an orange coral. I'm excited to try uh, let's see, I got a Shalimar for my friend Justin's mother. She is a longtime Shalimar girl. She feels the way about this as my friend Lee's mother feels about Dramatically Different. It's just always in her arsenal. She uses one perfume, and I was like, mm, I'm just going to get her some because I'm positively made of money at Sephora. And what else? Um, just a few more things. Oh, I got... Um, Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil. This is my go-to. Um, my shade is Ash Blonde, and it's just, I mean, I can't even tell you how many of these I've bought in my life. It's like the only eyebrow pencil that actually matches my weird colored eyebrows. This little tiny um, 
Leg Shine from Michael Kors. I've been wanting to try this forever. It looks like a little mini deodorant, but it's like a, a bronzy, shimmery um, thing that you put on your legs and probably anywhere to impart like a little bit of shine and just like a bronzy, glamorous glow. Just two more things, oh, no, three more things, sorry. Um, a really cool Illamasqua cream blush in like a light pink. It looked really pretty. I'm, I'm psyched to try that. Um, these, ugh, this is another thing I've had so many bottles of Bliss High Intensity Hand Cream with Macadamia Oil. Um, so good, so, so good. And it's great to keep in your purse. Great size and everything. And then the last thing I got just because I was out are these Sephora brand cotton touch pads just for like removing eye makeup and nail polish and all of that. So anyway, um, and actually the, the, um, the total actually only came to $666 like the devil. So I even have some more cash to spend there, which is amazing. So I'm going to take Carol, my mother to Sephora, um, when I'm in Philadelphia for the holidays and, um, let her have a little spree as well and think of anything that I forgot in my crazed stupor of Monday at Sephora. It was crazy. Um, so tell me what your favorite, um, beauty go-tos are, the things that you just keep buying and buying and buying again and again. Like, what are your greatest hits? I want to know all about it. Tell me in the comments below and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.